Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to make system menus on Lollipop easier to use and friendlier on the eyes. Now you may have noticed this, but system pop-ups on Android Lollipop have pretty small buttons. That's because the actual pressable area is confined to the words you're tapping. So for something like OK on this one, the button is only two letters wide. And all of this is why developer Defim created its latest Expose module. Basically, it makes all of the buttons on system menus actually take up their full allotted space. So when you have two options like OK and Cancel, they each take up half of the pop-up. To get this one going, you'll need to be rooted with the Exposed Framework installed. But if you need any help with that stuff, just check out my full tutorial at the link in the description below. Then to get started, head to the Download section of your Exposed Installer app and search How Give Lolly. And that's all one word. After that, tap the top Result, then swipe over to the Versions tab and hit the Download button next to the most recent entry. A few seconds later, Android's installer interface should come right up. So tap Install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Expose telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. So tap this notification, then on the following screen, tick the box next to the newly installed module. From here, use the drop menu at the top of the screen to head to the Framework section. Then tap the Soft Reboot button and press OK on the pop-up. When you get back up, the module will have already tweaked your system menus. Where the buttons were once crammed together on one side, they now take up their full allotted space, so they're much easier to press. And as an added bonus, the all caps lettering is now just capitalized words. So it cured a couple of minor annoyances, and that's really why we have Exposed Framework installed in the first place. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!